Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, it's so good to see you. Nice to see you too. And here you are in another classic, brilliant piece of telly. Yeah, I know. You've had an absolute run. It's I been know, great, it's hasn't been it? brilliant yeah. and all. And, and when you when you get these jobs, you know, it's great because you go into. The, I mean, you still have to go in an audition, you know, and. Um, as I went in, I said, you know, this, when I come in for a job that I really admire, it makes me really nervous. Uh -huh. Do you still get nervous? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's right not to, you know. You need the adrenaline, That's which uh, sort of forces you through, you know. Because yeah. yeah, I, I had to learn about nine pages. Well, the great thing was that once I'd got the audition, uh, most of the audition scenes um, were the biggest scenes I had in the show, so I knew them all, you which is great. But I have to say, the atmosphere on the set of um, Unforgotten is just brilliant, and I've been in this game for nearly 40 years and uh, and uh, the atmosphere that they create the relationship between the director and the writer and the the DOP the rest of the crew and everything they make you feel so comfortable it's one of the finest things I've ever worked that's on. really really good because that's so so important isn't it yeah. it comes from the top it usually comes from the director doesn't it absolutely if, Andy know, they, Wilson if they know what they're doing yeah yeah oh he, <laughs> that's right. he is so sure about what he wants it's rare for you to do any more than three takes and that would often be because there might have been a technical hitch or for whatever. Sure, for sure. He, he really makes you understand what he wants and he gets out of you. It's one of the finest guys I've ever worked for. Brilliant. And the Chris Lang's words as well, you were just great. You always said that drama saved you, that going into acting was what really just got you on the right path. Oh, definitely. I mean, yeah. um, when I was um, um, very young, of course, I was brought up in care in kids' homes, as you know, and um, working at uh, when um, I had a, I was an unruly child uh, in some ways, or oh, lively, smart and lively. lively. Okay, and we'll um, so that. I remember one English teacher got fired from our school, and the next English teacher came in, Sheila Steele. And I was a bit cheeky to her the first day that she arrived and she just took me out of the class and slammed a script in my chest and said, you're in the school play. Wow. And that was the first thing I ever it. did. Yeah. Amazing. And it went on from there because when I think about it, you know, I was, um, I was occupied. Yeah. Um, I had to do homework, I had to learn my stuff. Yeah, you've got to be disciplined. And was getting attention and was getting praised. And it was all new for me at that yeah. point when I was an 11 year old boy. So it was the right, it was absolutely the right time. In the it was the thing. right formula and it's a formula that stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but as well as that, as well as the very successful acting career, um, I have to ask you, have you got enough beer in your pubs? Yeah. Because I know you've got pubs and I know you, you actually brew your own beer. You, you do that. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to run beer. out? Are you going to run out tonight there no. in the plume of feathers? No, everyone, that's the plume, yeah. <laughs> no, everyone's geared up for the, for the game tonight. So course and on these hot days as well we've got to make sure Thank the supplies you. are there so don't worry if you're Could going you to imagine the room... there'll be enough because <laughs> yeah. there was i mean people were getting really angsty they're getting really worried about oh my goodness we're going to run out of beer this yeah. is terrible so no, you've I, got plenty of stock in I, here i've been Good to man. a pub that actually ran out of beer you that's know, but, just i mean but, that's the worst thing that's exactly. ever happened to you is <laughs> can you imagine like, it's, it's awful you know i mean it's a it's a pub you know but you know. that's a great passion of yours and if you can yeah. if you can have something that's a passion that's also a business I mean, yeah goodness absolutely see, you're 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 winning. Yeah, absolutely. I love beer and I love I love beer people. Beer people are great. And, uh, beer people? Well, you know, beer Is people who manufacture beer. There is a little beer club, if you like. <laughs> when you go and meet brewers, everyone's really keen on sort of sharing their little secrets of how yeah. they brew and how things are manufactured and put together, etc. And they will always say to you, you know, when I was brewing my beer, master brewers would say to me, go and make the beer. that Go and try and copy the beer that you love the most. Ah. And you'll never quite get it. No, no, no. It's no, very but intricate. You spin on it and, yeah, and but, you get your own thing. And then I was very happy with the beers that I got. Well. Sense.